Okay, today for Read Aloud, we're going to do the third read of Who Remembers What the Title of This Story Is? Yes, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Okay, and in this story, there the Billy Goats have a problem. Do you remember what the problem is that the Billy Goats have? Tell your family member if you remember. Okay, all right. So, and how do they solve their problem? Yes, they wanted to get to the other side of the meadow, um, to the other side of the river in the green grassy meadows so they could eat lots of green, green grass. And they solved their problem by getting rid of the troll, right? So as we read, I want you to remember some of those vocabulary words that we talked about the last time we read. Um, trembled, do you remember trembled? So when one of the billy goats was crossing the bridge, he was scared. And when he was scared, it made him tremble, okay? He trembled with fear. He was afraid. So when you hear that word, I want you to tremble, okay? Um, the other word we talked about was hooves. These are hooves. The goats have hooves, deer have hooves, horses have hooves, um, the hard part at the bottom of their leg, okay? And the other one was stomped. And when you hear that word, I want you to stomp your foot. Stomp. Okay? All right. And we remember stomping from when we were in school and we practice stomping during our good morning song, okay? All right, so here goes the three Billy Goat Scrub. As we read this time, since we know the story pretty well, I want you to help me remember what's going to happen next as we go along. So if I stop, I want you to tell your family member or whoever you're with um, what happens next in the story, okay? Here we go. The three Billy Goat Scrub, retold by Bonnie Dobkin, Illustrated by Stivy Vora. Once upon a time in a beautiful green valley, there lived three brothers who just happened to be goats. They were known as the three Billy Goats Gruff, and they were as different as different could be. The oldest brother was Big Billy Goat Gruff. He was big, and he was strong, and he was rough, and he was tough. He had thick, curvy horns and a head like a boulder, and his hooves crushed the rocks when he walked. He wasn't afraid of anything. Being big can sometimes make you feel like that. The second brother was Middle Billy Goat Gruff. He was half the size of his big brother, and his horns were short and thin. He was a very nervous goat, and he sometimes thought that no one listened to him. Being in the middle can sometimes make you think like that. The youngest brother was little Billy Goat Gruff. He was a tiny little goat with tiny little hooves, and the nubs of his horns barely poked from the top of his head. He liked to talk and he thought he was very smart. Being small can sometimes make you act like that. Now, what the three Billy Goat Scruff liked to do more than anything in the world was to eat the long green grass in their beautiful valley. They ate in the morning, they ate in the afternoon, they ate in the evening until the sun went down. They ate so much that they're soon was very little grass left to eat. What will we do, said Middle Billy Goat Gruff, if we don't find more grass, we'll soon be nothing but skin and bones. Then we'll find more grass, said Big Billy Goat Gruff. But where, asked the middle brother, where are we going to find more grass? 
I know, said little Billy Goat Gruff, feeling very smart. Where did he say they were going to go? To find more grass. We'll go to the meadow on the other side of the river. We can stay for days and eat and eat, and soon we will be very, very fat. But Little Billy Goat's idea was not as simple as it seemed. You see, the only way to cross the river was on a long wooden bridge. Under the bridge lived a hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. The troll had bumpy green skin and great froggy eyes. He had a big squashed nose that was always dripping. Oof. His teeth were snaggly, his claws were fraggly, and he smelled like a foot. Oh, yes. He also ate anyone who tried to cross the bridge. We can't go across that bridge, cried Middle Billy Goat Gruff. What about the troll? I'm not worried about the troll, said Big Billy Goat Gruff. Well, I am, said his middle brother. I don't feel like being eaten for lunch. Don't worry, said Little Billy Goat Gruff, feeling very smart indeed. I have a plan, and he told them what it was. So, what happened next? What was his plan? What did they decide to do? Cross the bridge, right? But one at a time. So, let's read. The next morning, Little Billy Goat Gruff set off across the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went his tiny hooves on the wooden planks. A terrible roar rose up from below. Who's trip trapping across my bridge? It is only I, Little Billy Goat Gruff, said the goat. Why are you walking across my bridge? yelled the hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. I'm going to eat the green grass in the meadow and make myself fat, said the goat. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll, because I'm coming up to eat you. And he leaped on top of the bridge. Now, what did the little billy goat gruff tell the troll? Do you remember what he told the troll? Let's read and find out. Little Billy Goat Gruff trembled <laughs> where he stood. Oh, please, Mr. Troll, don't eat me. I'm too small and you'll be finished in one gulp. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger and fatter than I am. Hmm, thought the troll. Why not? I can always catch you on your way back home. Very well, said the troll. Be off with you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Troll, said Little Billy Goat Gruff, and he tripped trapped his way to the far side of the bridge and into the meadow. Who came next? Which billy goat came next? Little billy goat gruff went first, then which one came after? Do you remember? A little while later, middle billy goat gruff set off across the bridge. Clip-clop, clip-clop, went his hooves on the wooden planks. A roar rose up from below. Who's clip-clopping across my bridge? Middle Billy Goat shook so hard he almost fell down. It is only I, m -m -m Middle Billy Goat Gruff. Why are you walking across my bridge? Yelled the hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. I'm going to eat the green grass in the meadow and make myself f f fat, said the goat. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll, because I'm coming up to eat you. And he leaped on top of the bridge. So what does the middle billy goat gruff tell the troll? Let's see if you remember. Middle Billy Goat Gruff wobbled where he stood. Oh, p -p please, Mr. Troll, don't eat me. I'm not very big, and you'll be done in two gulps. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger and fatter than I am. Hmm, thought the troll. 
I can eat your big brother, then catch you and the little goat on your way home. Very well, said the troll. Be off with you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Troll, said middle Billy Goat Gruff. And the last one to cross the bridge was who? And he clip-clopped as fast as his hooves could take him to the far side of the bridge and into the meadow. A little while later, when the sun was high in the sky, Big Billy Goat Gruff set off across the bridge. He was the last one to go. There he comes. Tromp, 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 tromp. Went his hooves on the wooden planks. A roar rose up from below. Who's tromp tromping across my bridge? It is I, Big Billy Goat Gruff, said the goat. Why are you walking across my bridge, yelled the hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. I'm going to eat the green grass in the meadow and make myself fat. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll, because I'm coming up to eat you. Well, said Big Billy Goat Gruff, what are you waiting for? And the troll leaped on top of the bridge. Now what's going to happen? Is Big Billy Goat going to tell the troll something? Or does something else happen? Do you remember what happened next? Big Billy Goat Gruff stared at the troll. The troll stared at Big Billy Goat Gruff. Then Big Billy Goat lowered his head and charged. He knocked the troll down with his big hard head. He stomped on the troll with his huge sharp hooves then he picked the troll up with his long curved horns and tossed him high into the air the troll spun in circles and dropped into the river with a great splash as the rushing waters carried him away he shouted and spouted and spit and screamed and yelled something nasty about goats that was the last anyone ever saw of the hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. And the three billy goats gruff? They lived happily in the valley for the rest of their lives, eating the green, green grass on both sides of the river and getting very fat. the end so i want you to think about a couple questions and um tell your family member who's watching with you so did the billy goats have to cross the bridge to get to the meadow and what other way do you think they could have gotten across the river if they didn't cross the bridge okay i want you to answer that question and I wonder what happened to the troll after the rushing waters carried him away. Do you think he found another bridge to live under and went back to eating anyone who crossed it? Or did he learn a lesson and did something else? Tell your family member what you think um, about those questions and you can put your answers in the comments if you want to so we can see and respond to you and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.